in the ladies' middleweight division. Welcome Carolina, pretty evil Tommen. Hailing from Switzerland, she is 20 years of age, standing 5 feet 6 inches tall and weighing 65 kilograms. Pretty evil is the multiple Swiss national champion. Her opponent is the sapphire, Erika Andersson. From Helsingborg, Sweden, she stands 5'5", five, five, weighing 63 kilograms. The Swedish national number three and Nordic national bronze medalist. I'm Erik Andersson from Sweden and I'm here to pull Caroline Tommen of Switzerland. My strategy for this match is to uh, be fast and uh, control all my angles that I know that I'm comfortable in. Offenberg, Sweden. Wrist. Sweden Wrist renowned as the home Ready of go. arm wrestling for the ladies. But a powerful exponent from Switzerland here today. There. Front of the table a little bit. So put up Wrist here for me, please. Very serious Ready go. Hurt. Ah! In terms of the aggression of Erika the Sapphire. Off the start, pretty evil. Carolina Thoman is equal to it. A war in the straps in the opening round. Moving for position now. A great angle there, assumed by Erika Anderson. She's gained hand and wrist control, and she's just driving into that arm of Carolina Torman, and that will be burning, and she takes the early pin. Great angular pulling there from Anderson. Using the structure to gain the advantage. Expose the bicep. Side pressure, sweeping to the pad for the early win. It's a jättebrud. The scorebooks bryt ni i ramarna. Först du visste nästa du kan gå inside and outside was not first go because your wrist went like this and from there you know it is not good. Vice from brutal Peter Cormack in the corner. Carolina Thomas. Thomas with the drop wrist. Forced outside, <laughs> and the wrist of Erika Anderson. Anderson tightens in there. She's lost hand control though, and Tommen has gained a better position. That's much better from the Swiss puller. And she has hand control. Anderson goes on the running foul. The strap will be applied. The Swede would need to win the match now just to get the restart. Tommen assigns in round two for the Sapphire. Determined, it's all over. The roar of aggression as the Sapphire tries to pull Snow from the hand and wrist of an opponent. Far better angle assumed again there. Structural arm wrestling, angular arm wrestling from the Sapphire. Pulse at the back of the pad, squeezes to the front, then assumes it again. Working like a woodsman, backwards, forwards, opening, chopping down the arm of Tommen, and there's the pin. It won't count and will be the restart, as the Swede was on the running foul. Needed the win just to get the restart. Such are the rules of the Super Series. Carolina Tommen, however, the damage has been done by the roaring Sapphire, as once again, she takes up that angle to expose the hand and wrist of Tormen, and Tormen is being really opened up off her shoulder there. You can see from that angle, outside of her shoulder, a rotation and pressure going into the hand and wrist. And that is the difference between the two ladies at this stage. Two pins. Gained in the same manner. Having an aggressive, intense Erika Anderson. Alltså det känns, gud på något jävla vänster, det känns, det känns, alltså innan starten så har jag kontrollen, det känns skitbra, det bara är att mitt huvud fattar nu inte riktigt när jag ska starta, eller jag vet inte. Nej, jag måste göra det. Och hon gör det så, och om du är här, om du är här, så är det en advice i den kornen av båda kvinnorna. Peter Korvax, som är 
working on the positioning. Okay, rest here. Carolina Tomek to try and counter. Ready to go. That ah! was just attacking top roll. Oh. Erika Anderson. Anderson forces the strap. That's where the Swede wanted to be. She knows that that allows her to gain that speed advantage early. Really There's the big drive again and an excellent angle with the rotation taken. And once again she exposes the hand and wrist of Tomek. And the Swiss puller, unable to gain any leverage, looks to a corner there. The instruction of Peter Kovacs. She's trying to maintain a position and brace the elbow, but to no avail. Let's go straight away, ladies. Foul again from Erika Anderson. She needs to watch that elbow wayward with that and it's making her work twice as hard but the good news for the speed is that opponent's working just as hard through these rounds Tomen choosing to contest them all I'm not sure she was aware that her opponent was on the runner there she was looking to her own corner and trying to listen to the instructions being shouted by her coach to Kovacs but the damage is definitely being done to pretty evil Carolina Tomen Rubbing her elbow there. Very hard to hold in that position. Against somebody with the intensity of Erika Anderson. Those furious sideways drives. The angle she takes up, the rotation, all hard to contain. First, you could you could take her wrist, you know. Anderson being warned about the running foul by Anders Carlson in her corner as Kovacs tries to work the lactic acid and blood out of the forearm of Carolina Tormann. The Swiss bullet needs something and she needs it now. Ready go! Drives to the back of the pad, Anderson. Can't finish. Gains and collects. Better hand control and again Anderson on the runner. All over the place with that elbow. She's gone on the runner and just been told about it by the Swedish camp. Now Tormann that time knew she was on the running foul and let that one go. The instruction was called by Peter Kovacs and Tom questioned it. That's far better from the Swiss puller. Gains hand control. Erika Anderson, nowhere to run now, needs to watch that elbow. Can't afford to go on to the double foul. Trying to squeak a victory out of there and get to the straps, but Carol and surely. Oh, that's going to the strap. Look like a win. Go to the strap match. This way, a little bit more. It's been told by the line to ah! down dead center. He's got a better ah! angle on the match than I have. But whilst we're talking about angles, the running foul there for Carolina ah! Tormen. The match is live and it is the win for Erika Anderson. Look at that on the replay. Anderson's angle is superb there every time when she finds the strap. Wrist and hand, and then goes to work. Excellent pulling. Round five. And then this way towards you. Carolina, pretty evil. Tommen, nothing to show for all that endeavor. This time against hand control. Can't finish. Or prevent the sapphire from the slip, and the strap will be applied. Teddy grip, centre, wrist, the focus on the face, and again that sweeping angle, assumed early, from Erika, the Sapphire Anderson, Carolina Tommen, the arm is strong, the wrist and hand are exposed, far better angles taken up from round one to round five, and there's the walk of the hand, and Erika Anderson, Drives to the pad and a dominant performance in front of a home crowd here from the Sapphire. She's gaining so much position in every match. You saw there on the replay. The hand falls it down, gains angle. And whilst Carolina Tormen couldn't try any harder to hold up the arm. Female always when it's worth world class. You don't get better than this, huh? Sinks to her knees there in the corner. Carolina Tommen to try to assist with the blood flow out of the forearm. That's far better. Hits the hook for the first time. Anderson on the running foul 
Bomber get a real deep inside. Massive drive from Carolina Tome. Now that's the... Yeah, I know. Pin for the Sapphire, but she's on the runner. Acknowledgement of that. Carolina Tumman managed to hit the hook for the first time. Ready to get the arm strength in play there. That's better from the Swiss puller again, and we are deep inside. Big drive to the side from the Sapphire, and that's the win for Erika Anderson. Anderson with the six-all sweep. An impressive performance. Good job, she says, to pretty evil Carolina Tumman, but Intelligently here, oh. so the sapphire with a deserving.